Welcome back, YouTube friends. This is Untethered Gaming. I'm your host, Abraham Lincoln, and today we're going to continue the March of the Lizardmen series starring Krokgar. Um, this is chapter two, and in the first chapter, we secured Kingdom of Beasts. We started working on our relationship with these lizard people over here. And we're pushing our way north. So currently, we are just waiting for some Soros warriors to replenish our army. And so we're just gonna pass for now. Uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, no, let's look at our buildings here. So, See. What do we want? I don't think we can really afford to get anything right now. Nothing that we would want. So, we are indeed going to pass. Rebellion already in the Kingdom of Beasts. The insolent fools of the province have risen up against us. They must swiftly and brutally they must be swiftly and brutally crushed. Agreed. I wasn't paying attention to the public order here at all. It looks like it's on the up and up. What's the big problem here? Am I missing something? I guess because it was already in the negative we had a chance of a rebellion. I don't know the algorithm and mechanic of the rebellion so much. I just know that when it gets super negative, you know, you start getting rebellions. But whatever. Enough chitter chatter. Let's uh... Swing back here and take these fools out. We're gonna have to. That or... We can start up a second army. I mean, Krokgar has already got a pretty decent sized army. I just don't want to run all the way back there. Jesus. Got a life to live. Um. Well, I mean, they're just kind of trolling around here. And let's see. The garrison here. And our Temple of Skulls is okay. They're probably going to be looking at attacking the Serpent Coast. So. Maybe. Let's get a general. Uh, two to choose from cunning and humble. Enables poison attacks, ambush success chance plus 10%. Hero recruit rank plus 2. We're gonna go with Cricket, Source Old Blood. That'll be just fine. Hopefully, this guy can smash this rebellion and we can just dissolve his army afterwards and move up with Krokgar. So he's outside. Let's move him in and see if we can create some units. Excellent. So. Yeah, just some source. Uh, we can only afford two. That's fine. Hopefully they don't attack, and if they do, hopefully we can take them. I mean, it's not a big force right now, but... I've seen these rebellions grow out of hand pretty quickly, and it is on hard, so... I don't know. We'll see. Krakar, or his little skink buddy, rather, has upgraded, or leveled up. We got some spells to work with here. Uh, I like the sound of this thunderbolt here. Let's go with that. Pew. Um, let's see. So we're still within the K 
Kingdom of Beasts. Because we're recruiting. So... I think we're going to recruit some more. Because if we plan on going north... Clearly... We've got a lot of... Got a lot of action ahead of us, so... It's good here now. Oh yeah. We already spent all our money, that's right. But... We can still afford some skinks. Why not? Let's get these skinks. Uh, what was was it better to just march back with Krogar? I don't know. I just don't want it. I like to be aggressive and I like to keep the tempo up because I think it's pretty important in this game. Some of these AI nations get insanely big. So we don't have any cash, so... Just like in real life, we don't have any options. Tech? Or research? Uh, skink experience versus melee attack. We're gonna increase the melee attack for our source. Warriors, and we're gonna pass it. these losers. Look at that. Look what I, I tell you. So they're already up to a 14 stack. That's that's pretty scary. I mean, at this point, I might even have to march back with Krokgar. F. Alright. Well, we might as well. I don't want to get taken out by this guy early on. I mean, next turn he could be at a 20 stack for all I know and be taken out of my capital. I mean, that would be complete shit. It's the early game. There's no other threats around me, really. I've got allies close by. I got taken out by this stupid rebellion. That's embarrassing.com slash fuck my life. So what we're going to do is we're going to march it on down. And we're gonna help the good lizard people. Don't ask me what this is about. Should've just clicked on the city, whatever. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll recruit more troops here in case he attacks here. Um, sure. We'll get, uh... Two more. No, uh, well, because I wasn't looking at my cash, we can only afford one there. Alright, whatever. So we're out of cash, out of options, and we're gonna pass. Okay, so we're being besieged. I'm not gonna read this. You can read it if you want to. I'm just gonna look at the effects here. Winds of Magic plus 14. Diplomatic Relations plus 10 with those fools. We're gonna go with this. We don't need. I guess we have a caster, but whatever. So we're being besieged by our rebels. Because apparently we're a bunch of punk bitches, but whatever. Um, Krakar, where you at, bro? Let's march. Hmm. 
And since Krakar is gonna be the one solely taking care of this bullshit, what we're gonna do... Ah, I thought we could reach Krakar. Well, I was gonna run up to Krakar and give him these troops. But, we're gonna wait. We'll do that next turn. Hopefully get the jump on Mr. Ronin. And let's see here, we have seven turns till we run out of supplies. Obviously we won't need seven turns to take care of this, but... Wow, what, anno what an annoyance early on. Let's... What's happening here? Oh yeah, because we're being besieged just on pause. You bastard. Alright, well let's pass. Okay, so let's end this. It's a sword. No, Gracie, never long. Look at this. Look at all this siege equipment. Dirty bastards. Alright. You wanna play like that? We're not even gonna worry about this army over here. We're just gonna send him in to help replenish Kotkar after he fights. And we'll, we should just be. Blah, we should be just fine. Charge! So, obviously it's an easy auto-resolve, but here's the thing, they've got three catapults here, they're gonna do some damage. What I'm getting at here is, maybe I should fight this and make sure the garrison takes the brunt so that I can move north quicker with Krokgar, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, wow, there's a lot of trees here, and also, since I want the garrison to take the, the beating here, I guess we're just going to have to stay in this thick jungle. I hope that's, this isn't what most of the campaign's going to be like, this, this is terrible. I hate fighting in thick trees. Gonna kinda hang out in the jungle. Got our spears going here. Got our little skinks. Okay. Krakar, and everything in here should be pretty goddamn hidden. I mean, this is a thick ass jungle. It does look cool. I mean, tall ass trees. It's it's cool looking. It's just hard to fight in. Uh, we're definitely not gonna gamble. That's pretty good right there. Uh, we've already deployed. We're really just gonna use whatever our, our reinforcements are to go try to crush those rats. Here they come. There we go. Is there any more? That's it? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is actually just pop them in a quick auto formation. Melee front. Yeah. And the enemy is where? Hiding up here. So we're gonna come up through here. And as soon as we start engaging with the garrison force, we'll start marching with Krokgar. We just want to make sure he doesn't take any artillery fire. Which, it looks like this army is gonna start taking all the artillery fire anyway, so maybe we do start marching. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, look at that. Our formation's pretty jacked up. Look at that. 
Got our skinks all doing whatever. Okay, so group two's on their way. And actually they're where they were sent. So we're gonna move them up here. Oh, what do they do with? Oh no, we're still on one. Okay. One, you go here. Two, move up. And we'll get these javelins to go after what? Probably the rat ogres. I'm pretty sure there's rat ogres in here. Well, let's wait on that. What we're gonna do is just grab all of them and charge straight into these catapults here. Oh, here's the rest of their army. So we can take our skink javelins, start shooting at these rat ogres. Oh, we got more, actually. What am I doing? Oh god! Oh god damn it! Oh, okay. Where are the rat ogres? Here we go. And we have them. Force is coming toward Krakow right now. Who's this here? Okay. Let's get some some spells going here. And actually we're gonna take our big old dinosaur squad and just come right in here. Oh they're trying to retreating back up there. Okay. So, let's go check out the action. Taking some missile fire over here. Okay. Let's get another. Let's get those guys. Charging here. Oh no, we're getting artillery fire here and we're all kind of punched up. We're gonna charge our big dinosaur right up in here. And we're actually gonna take them off skirmish mode and come the, up and around here. What do we got going on? You know, honestly guys, I know this seems really mild-breathy and stupid, but, you know, this is just a weird battle to fight. I play a lot of multiplayer matches and stuff, and, you know, I never run into weird situations like this. Run in there. Where's Krakar? Let's get some heals going. See if we can run up there, get that artillery. Get our skinks thrown in there. So, I don't see the artillery really shooting anymore. I think they're... Well, as soon as I say that... God damn it. Okay. Let's get into that artillery. No more. No more javelins. Shut it down. Okay. So... These artillery units are about to get sacked by our little skinks. Marching up. Looks like they're turning to fire on the skinks. Or trying to run away or something. 
really like it. Very, 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 very. Oh man, here they come. It's like the Raptors in Jurassic Park. Oh shit. Nice. nice. Alrighty, well, this is, uh. You know. Not an amazing show of skill or an amazing battle of any kind. Oh, we have overchasing over here. This is a mess. This is a huge mess, but honestly, I just don't know what to do other than to grab troops and click them at the enemy when there's just a blob of them in the corner of the map in the forest here. It's. I mean, it's, there's really not much strategy you can really employ. I got the area. Artillery tied up here. Uh, everything else is just sort of fighting. Got our main horde moving in. Hopefully, we have more open fields in the future. We're going to fast forward a bit. Get some more heals going. Are you guys? Oh. Okay. I have stuff just sitting around. Just chasing rats through the forest. Our caster's getting a little too beat up, but this is almost over. Can't even make anything out in this damn forest. Should I just try to go to the. No, well, it's over. I think next time I'm in the forest, I'm gonna start looking at the battle like this. Because you just can't see shit in that forest. Well, let's end it. Alright, so. I don't know if fighting it was worth it. We definitely didn't handle it very well. Uh, I mean, we definitely got the garrison to take the larger brunt of the beating, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's kill and eat. Scurried off over here. So, Krautgar's just gonna get in this city. What are you doing? You're just in the city. Looks like we can afford to upgrade some structures here. So, what do we want? Can upgrade to these skink skirmishers, which we do want. But what we want even more right now is to upgrade this here at the Serpent Coast. That'll be good. Krokgar leveled up. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Let's buff the boys. And that's it for this turn. How far can you move? Oh, you can make it all the way to Krakar. What the hell? So we're gonna do that. Or should we just keep you there in case you decide to run over and attack? Yep, we're gonna do that. Let's pass. Alright, 
well, I'm being besieged again. By the ever annoying Ronin. So we're gonna march you up. Right now. Krakar Skink Buddy. Skink Buddy, we're gonna grab more thunder action. We're gonna take Krakar. And we're gonna shut this down. And we're gonna auto resolve. Beautiful. Didn't lose anything important. Does this get us here? Hmm. We're gonna replenish. So that's it for our stupid rebellion. We're talk as uh, we're gonna have Kolek run into this general here and grab his troops. Um, see, public order is on the up over here. So what we're gonna do, with Mr. Cricket? That's we're going to disband him. Thanks for your help, bud. You did virtually nothing. Well, I mean, we got some troops for Krakar when he got all the way down here, which is nice. So we're actually gonna combine them up here. Ooh, what a nice, look at that, that's perfect. That never happens. You see that, guys? Full 50 stacks of the Saurus short, Saurus Warriors with shields. Nice. Do the same with you. Not perfect, but you know, get by it. Uh, we'll combine you as well. Um, Krakar, level up. We'll finish this proud warrior. Research. And get some more warriors. See, we're gonna need some more spears. Mm -hmm. And just some more warriors, I suppose. Pretty boring, but we don't have any really thing else to work with that's worth using. Uh, we are gonna get some skink skirmishers as soon as we can afford this structure here. Punishing, and we're passing. So, we're now at war with the Sand Fools. creepy sand people, so we're definitely going to have to march right back up north, because we only have so much time. We only have so much time, friends. They're close. It's really close. I don't even know where their force is, but it's, it's lurking up here. Um, so what we're going to do is... What is this? I didn't even notice this before. Uh, yeah, that's neat. So it applies for vanguard deployment in battle. And increased defense and all that. With the sacrifice of campaign movement. That's cool. Well, we're too far away from any enemies to make use of that. But we should keep that in mind. Let's march it. Let's look at our structures. I think... 
We're gonna go for the skirmishers right away. We want to be able to use those by the time we start warring again with the creepy sand people. What else can we get? Um, this is here. I like to look at this. More dinosaurs. See this unlocks some technology. Okay. What else we got? Some defense buildings. Mm. See, I don't... In the main settlements, I don't want to use anything that can go... Or d doesn't have to go past uh, Tier 3. I think I stated that before, but... So, for this settlement, for example, we're going to be aiming to grab one of those. This here, the uh, Pterodon Hatchery or the Cold One Caves. For now. I think... Well, maybe let's grab some cash here. Ooh, we're going to have to get rid of this eventually. Honestly, we could probably start that now. Or soon. Yeah, let's grab this uh, skink foraging camp. And once we get it up and running, we're going to get rid of this. Well, no rush, because I mean, we have a spot right here. But once we need a spot at the main camp, or the Temple of Skulls, we're going to get rid of the. What? Oh. Meat, wait, this is called a skink foraging camp, and this is called a meat... Oh, the meat storage hall is the fully upgraded. Okay, I get it. Uh, meat storage hall is the third tier of the skink foraging camp. So, once this camp's up and running, we can get rid of this meat hall once we need a spot. Great. Let's pass. some research accomplished there. So let's see what's next. Two options. We got an additional 5% tradable resource production or unit experience plus two for skink units. We're gonna grab that. I don't know if we even have any trade. Uh, if we're actually producing anything tradable. So Oh. No? Huh. So we're gonna continue to march north with Krokar. We're gonna upgrade this to the insect breeding farm. And let's take a look here. Nope. Pass. War Babies. Let's take a look. Once again, you can read this if you would like to, but I'm just going to look at the effects. Recruitment cost minus 50% sourced units. That's awesome. Recruitment cost for skinks. Chameleon skink units. For the next five turns. Actually, you know what? We're going to be getting some scare machine or skink skirmisher soon, so we're gonna go with this. Um, so we should be able to recruit skink skirmishers now. So we're gonna go to normal stance and creep up while we're still within the kingdom of beasts. Skink skirmishers. Uh, I don't even know if I want these. To be honest. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep them for now. 
We got an 18 stack now. Uh, look at our structures structures here. We're gonna level up here to the Crux Core Labor District. More income. Let's move on. Okay. So now, what are we gonna do? I got some bad public order issues right there. Maybe we should. No, we can't do anything about that. So we're gonna march on into dirty skeleton territory what are the other settlements this year okay so we're gonna march that way and we got some action over here 20 stack and a very large garrison of some vamps so, what we're we gonna do? We, shh, we definitely gotta get more troops than that. Alright. Well. Let's see, we can't really do anything. So, here's what we're gonna do. Got some recruiting we need to do. We have a large force to knock out uh, the Tomb King rebels, which are vampires. Or no. What? No, these are all Tomb Kings. So, we're gonna take them out. Um, natural next target because we won't be upsetting. Well, actually, they have more than. Whatever. We're taking them out next. So, instead of spending a bunch of time recruiting in front of you, what I'm going to do is spend some time doing that off camera. And we're going to come right back in episode 3. We're going to have a force that's ready to take out Resetra? Resetra. Reset we're going to have a force that's big enough to take out Resetra. We're going to be ready to attack, and we're going to kick off Chapter 3 with the battle for Reserta. And we're going to expand Krokgar's beautiful kingdom. We're going to take our second... I don't know, what do you call this? This is an entire province? These are settlements? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll have another province. And it's going to be glorious. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, emancipate that like button for God's sakes, and, uh, you know, subscribe for more com- uh, subscribe for more <laughs> content, uh, leave a comment below, and you guys enjoy the moment.